guys I want to show you a train track and train on Mars all right check this out here we go what do y'all think about that see the tracks it's funny how Google overlays you know we can't tell where it goes totally lost it I wonder if they do that stuff on purpose but I firmly believe there's some kind of evidence of life on Mars yeah, it looks like a train to me some kind of rail vehicle you can see the lines and I want to show you something else that's pretty cool all right let's do a little bit of measurements first actually I've already done them um, the the width of the train excuse me the width of the train as you can see here is 3,243 feet that's the width in meters is 988 and I say train it may not be a train you know what we call a train that, that might not be a train there or this might not even be a train at all it could be a rock on top of some dotted lines you know but you gotta use your imagination. Uh, the length, you see there, 5,496 feet in meters is 1,523. But what I find interesting is this right here. Follow the tracks. Check this out. This is where the track ends. Look at this. Look how we got that. All these 90 degree angles. Does that look like buildings, structures? What do y'all think? See the track ends. We got one, two, three, four, five buildings. Look like they're built in a circle with a you know, space in the middle there. Then we have these structures right here. I mean, that doesn't look natural. And over here, you know, like an entrance. It's just odd. Very odd. An overhead view. It's cool, isn't it? I honestly think we've we've been here. We've already been to Mars. You know, I found a video. <laughs> I found a video that showed a supposedly Mars mission that happened in uh, I want to say the 70s and then again in 04 and I've got I've got footage of it but I'm not sure if it's real I mean it, I'm debating on putting it out there y'all y'all tell me if you want me to I just don't want to make a fool of myself but it, it we could put it on there to see see what you think But isn't that cool? Nature doesn't make that. I mean, it could, but I don't think so. All right, guys, I got some pictures I want to show y'all. Stay tuned. Hey, look, check it out. This is what I want to talk about. This is on JPL NASA official website. These are the panoramic views. Go here. Panoramic images. Scroll down. <clears throat> We're going to Mount Sharp on Mars. Click here. And what I want to talk about is right there looks like a rock right well maybe not this is as close as i can get to it with this with this site okay i'm going to call this a floating sphere okay i'm going to show you more evidence stay tuned okay here we go i can get a little bit closer here on this image but i can get you closer 
you still see you know it looks like the, you see the ground underneath the same color as everything the shadow all right all right I can get you closer and I can get you clearer check this out what do you think about that does that not appear to be a floating sphere now I did a previous video of it was in Jacksonville Florida I've got a picture I will show you right after I get done with these it had spheres leaving an object that was hovering in the sky now this could be pareidolia yeah could be pareidolia but it doesn't appear to be you can see the sphere you can see the shadow you can see the ground underneath all right I can get you closer and a little bit clearer all right here we go and this was brought to us by alien art tv all right check it out sphere shadow ground underneath pretty amazing what do you guys think do you think it's just um slide of hand you think it's just you know a mirage you think it's just the way the camera took the picture um it appears to, to me you know it looks like a sphere i think these spheres may be reconnaissance vehicles you know spying on the the rover to see what what they're doing where they're going all right let me show you some more evidence all right here we go tell me that those don't look a lot like these the spears you know they are black these are light blue they are black too but i, I believe that they they take on their surroundings you can see how that one's kind of blue as far as you know camouflage it looks very familiar it looks just like that and that so similar you know on Mars on Earth same thing you know got to be reconnaissance drones and what the heck is that I mean how does that even fly crazy anti-gravity reactor you know that's what we're told anti-gravity reactor where it manipulates gravity and has a magnetic field it's like placing two ma magnets together how they push apart and uh, that's how they obtain flight at least that's the theory on how they obtain flight now I just wrapped that up in a nutshell there's a lot more complicated than that but they these drones are checking out the landscape you know the military has locked onto these things before you've probably seen the picture of this sphere just shooting across the land side amazing you see anything that stands out those who have seen this before so yeah i do Now that's pretty cool a gun on mars or it could be a rock in the shape of a gun pretty cool all right moving on all right can you pick it out looks like somebody dropped their helmet I'm prior service I was in the army for several years and I have worn a helmet for hours at end while I was in the military and we call them kevlars a mitch even or your helmet and this looks just like a helmet 
even got the ridge or it could be a rock in the shape of a helmet but it doesn't look like it broke off any of these other rocks Could be a it could be a rock, but it looks just like a helmet. I thought it was very interesting. I wanted to share that. Okay, moving on. All right, can you see what we're looking at here? All right, we're looking right here. Tracks, tracks on Mars. I showed you the railroad tracks. Now it looks like vehicle tracks. And I can, I'm going to darken this up for you guys. Looks like it came out of right in here somewhere. There's a road that travels across this canyon, this valley. You know, maybe there's an entrance right there. Maybe there's one right there. Looks like a vehicle. It could be parked right there. It looks like this one is traveling out over the Martian surface. Or it could be Pareidolia. It could be uh, Slide of Hand. The wind could have blown these tracks in there. Or these wind could have blown these boulders across the ground. Unlikely, but, but maybe. All right, moving on. All right, I darkened that same image up. To make it a little bit better for us. You see where it curves off. You can see, you know, where it comes from there to there. To me, it looks like it could be an entrance there. You got these two things right there. One, two. It could be part of an entrance. And over here, it looks like, you know, right in here. Looks like there could be something. There's one, two. Or this track could go right in. All right, moving on. This picture was taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. To me, this looks like vegetation. Um, NASA said in the description that this, that this was caused by wind, that it was showing rocks underneath the sand. But how would they know that from this picture? And I'm sure they're smarter than, than I am, but to me, it looks like brush, trees, something. And I know this took in, picture was taken from orbit. And that had to be some large trees or brush. But it doesn't look like rocks. Unless it's taken from a higher. It is taken from a long way up. And maybe it's canyons. I don't know. But it just looked... It looked like vegetation to me. You decide.